Good Gandhi, do I have a good video for you today, boys? Today I'm going to show you how to break a 2-3 zone the simplest way possible. Let's get into it. Now, truth be told, the 2-3 zone is absolutely terrible this year. Why? Because, just like in real life basketball, the weakness of a 2-3 zone is the 3-point line. I don't know about you guys, but we run 2-3 zones against teams that couldn't shoot. Right? And guess what? We're playing 2K24! And Mike Wang made it so everyone can shoot 90% from 3. So the 2-3 zone stinks this year. Now, some people message me, you know, I just don't know what to do. Our team doesn't know how to break it. You know, the high post thing doesn't really work, which is how we'd break it, you know, in real life. But this isn't real life. This is 2K. So whether you're running ISO, pick and roll, some other weird type of defense, I'm going to show you how to break down this defense because this defense stinks. And it doesn't work. And you should be scoring 100 and 800 points against this. So, let's break it down. So, you need two guys in the corner. That doesn't mean they have to sit there all game. You need two guys in the corner. You also need a guy in the way. What you do with those last two people? One of those people is your primary ball handler. And that last person is going to be a spot up or a screen center. If you're, say, if you're playing pick and roll. I get people don't want to... Like, spot up all game. And that's fine. You're not going to have to spot up all game. Because, look, you're no longer in a zone. So, if the, the, their guy in the paint, right? Their, their guy in the paint of the 2-3 zone. He cannot sit in the paint right now because there's no one in the paint. He's guarding air, right? That's how you break a 2-3 zone. You want the other team to guard air. Right? So, if we're running ISO, we've got five guys around the perimeter. That guy's guarding no one. Someone's going to be open. Easy pass, easy shot, whatever. If you're in pick and roll, guy holds the screen. Now that guy's not um, playing the paint anymore. He can't, right? Look, he's sitting in the paint. He's not guarding anyone. Great. Then once he comes up, once he starts playing man to man, it's not zone anymore. Then you can start calling your cuts. Then you can start calling whatever. But in this game, it's so easy to shoot. You turn the 2-3 zone into a man. You can't play man this year. You can't. Or you can't play zone this year. Okay, now they're kind of in a man thing, right? Because I've got nine points and I've got my badge. So now, let's see how high this guy's set. Oh, you see the guy guarding my center? You see how he's playing super high right now? That's because he was playing super low and he gave up three three-pointers in a row. Now after that, he has to step up super high. Now we can start calling the back doors. Now we can start calling our plays, right? The reason the 2-3... No one runs 2-3 zone against us because they can't. Because if you run 2-3 zone against me, you're asking me to score 800 points. Literally. Now, I get not everyone's at my skill level, and that's fine. But if you're running point guard and you can't run around a screen and shoot a shot, then you probably should be running point guard. If you're running point guard and you're an ISO guard and you can't get by your guy and you're allowing someone to just sit paint on you and you can't make that pass, you probably shouldn't be running point guard, right? Now this guy's playing super low again. He's playing that 2-3 zone defense, if you will. He's guarding air. He's guarding no one, right? Now, he's got lockdowns getting screened, right? He's guarding no one. He's guarding absolutely no one. He's not guarding the center. He's not guarding me. He's guarding the cuts that aren't happening, right? Once he steps up, cut. My center rolls. Something like that. We can attack the paint now. Now it's man, right? They've got a 6-1 point guard on their team. Easy to cut on him. You can still run plays off of this. So right here, I tell my lockdown to stop at the top of the key. Look at this point guard on the left corner. Look, he's in his 2-3 zone, right? Who are you guarding? Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at their point guard, right? Who is he guarding? Who is he guarding? He's guarding air. He's guarding air. That's what you want in the 2-3 zone. And it takes... Four people to sit on the three-point line. Right? I know not everyone wants to do that. And that's fine. I know everyone wants to cut. Eight people want to cut to the rim at the same time. That's my favorite. You know? But that's how it goes. Right here, their center's playing high again. I can call a back door. Why is he playing high? Well, let's look at the scoreboard. Right? I got 21 points. We're doubling their score. That's a pretty good reason, if you ask me. So we can call the back door i just like to address something really quickly. I mean, I know there's a bunch of people who don't want to sit in the corner all game, and I get that. But you agreed to go into a 5v5 game, whether it's Pro-Am or Rec. 
right? And if you're going against a 2-3 zone, it's because you're going against a full five, which, you know, means you're going in with people you know. So, if you're not the primary ball handler or the center, you're probably, your objective on offense is to listen to the point guard's calls and spot up and make your open shots. Some games, you're going to have, you know, 12, 13 shots because they're going to ha- they're gonna help a lot. But there's going to be games where you shoot two or three shots and you can't be upset about that, especially if your team's winning. I just felt the need to say that. Okay, so going back to how to break a 2-3 zone. We just want them to guard air. Wh- whatever that means, right? We, we want them to be guarding no one. We want one guy to be guarding no one, right? So right here, I beat my guy like I do. Guy's not very good at lockdown, right? I beat him. That guy has to step up. So in that case, the lockdown behind me, he's playing too high. He's guarding air, right? Now he's guarding no one. He's way out of the play. The center has to step up. It's either me shooting a three or a free dunk, right? So in an ISO situation, all you want is everyone spreads out. Okay, now it's man. You cannot zone that. I mean, you can 3-2 it. Like, it's really, not really, but you can try. But it's basically man. Then you've got whatever your best score is. You can go at their weakest defender. You can cut from everywhere. But again, you want someone to guard air. And in a 2-3 zone, someone's going to be guarding air. And what you're going to find is a lot of teams are going to switch to man. Like, uh, this isn't really a man. Like, right there, like, the reason I use this game play is because their center was playing super low. And I had 42 points, and I only had 5 assists. And I did that because their center is playing really low. So he's playing super low. It's my job to score because my center can't shoot. And as you can see by the 45 points... I think I did that pretty effectively. And I get it. Not everyone's as efficient of a score as me, but it doesn't matter. I mean, this is how to break a 2-3 zone. This isn't how to be a good dribbler, how to be a good shooter. By the way, if you want to be a better shooter, a better dribbler, just any of that stuff, like a better defender, go watch some of my videos. My subs can uh, back it up. I mean, there's a reason I've grown as fast as I am, and that's because I don't gatekeep, and I tell you guys things that nobody else knows about or no one wants to tell you about. And yeah, so right here in this clip, my center gets a slip. Why? Because their defender's playing super high, right? Now they're, this isn't a 2-3 zone, this is a man, but the reason these back doors are open, the reason all these cuts are open is because their power forward, their center, their guy guarding my center is playing super high so we can just cut on their point guard all day, right? Makes sense? Right here, again, he's playing too high. They're trying to run rotation. This isn't zone, but you can't run zone. That's why I don't have any clips versus zone is because teams don't run zone. All that would be is me running around a a screen and scoring 800 points. No one wants to watch that. And no one, at least no one in competitive pro-am runs that, right? So in rack and just in pro-am in general, just spot up. I know it's not necessarily fun. I know some people want to get on the game and chill. That's cool. But just beat these defenses, man. These defenses suck. They're literally not guarding someone. That guy in the center, the the, the strength of a 2-3 zone is the paint, right? They have a guy literally designated to sit in the paint. And this is a very easy game to shoot in. So force that guy to guard someone. You know what happens when he's guarding someone? They don't play zone anymore, right? It's not even a zone anymore. So, make sure you got at least three guys spying up. Again, you chose to walk into a 5v5 game, right? And then, if you want to run ISO, if you want to run something else, if you want to run pick and roll, um, just make sure, again, you want them to guard no one. You want them to guard air. That's the point of the zone, or of the zone breaker, right? Right here, he's playing super high. Easy slip from my center. Because, again, they can't play zone, right? Look, if they want to play sides on me, if they want to play super high, boom. Why? Because I got 15 points. I've also got 9 assists, but, yeah. So, let me know if you guys learned something. Uh, like, comment, subscribe.
I don't mean to boast, but I'm probably going to make you better at the game if you check out any of my videos. Offensively, defensively, shooting, dribbling, IQ, all that stuff. I can help you. Ask me questions. Join my Discord. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with your teammates. Until next time, peace out.